Hello there. Hello. 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 Yes. So, what did we think of the Nines 2007 starring Ryan Reynolds and that very familiar lady? What was her name? Does anybody remember? Yeah. I thought it was really pretty good. The, the whole zeitgeist is no ocean. It's 11. Um. I thought I thought that the zeitgeist of the age that was being propagated by a said film was very accurate to what the zeitgeist of two thousand seven was. Hmm. <clears throat> yes, but wouldn't you argue that um, I guess just the relevance of the fact that they picked up on the number nine wasn't that interesting because it's true that nine is like this weird number in nature. Aren't you just quoting Alex Petty? <laughs> Yes, yes, I am. But it's true though that there are these patterns, and it's um, um, it's um, everywhere ubiquitous. All right. <clears throat> so what what would you suggest individuals do to increase their awareness of their avatar godhood? Actually, the notion of Avatars. <laughs> Avatars. Think about it. What, what would that mean? Well, an avatar would be a physical manifestation of a god or a deity. In, a, in, in this case, you are thinking anthropomorphic form, correct? Well, I'm thinking more in the form of everything. <clears throat> sort of pantheism, I guess. Of course, me that this is just me kind of playing to somebody else's tune, so... Yes, yeah, so let's put our own tunes. Own tunes. Um, right. iTunes. Other people. What's for guilt? Guilt. Why am I guilty? I feel guilty about using my time this way. I suppose. I like, could be helping. Other people. Listen. If, <clears throat> listen. If you want to help people, there's something itching at ears. You have to first of all realize. Realize that people ultimately are responsible for themselves. And if what you're saying is true, we are all of us God in a sense. How would that work? I'm not getting it. You getting it? You getting it? Who's getting it? I'm not getting it. Well, of course, if we're capable of understanding the numerical forms of the ideas, it would seem that we are capable of comprehending n ideas of us being God. However, what we really are is always what we've always been. What we were back in 1777 is exactly the same thing as we are right now. So, sure, it's really about information. Be Information again. Again, that's a very interesting word. Information. It's like flying information because it sounds like it anyway. So it's activating those ideas in my own um brain. Yes. Anyway, what were we doing? Talking to ourselves about what uh, quantum mechanics, language as DNA. Um. Is this all a dream? Am I dreaming right now? And this is a memory I'm creating, and my memory of this will fade away, just like in a dream. Uh, the goes to Lovecraft, actually. He his his idea in Beyond the Wall of Sleep or something was as yes, it's actually it's the same idea over and over again. It's a very old idea, really, and it's like the world we inhabit as dreamers, perhaps that is the real world. Perhaps this waking life is merely a diversion to use our emotional fuel, our uh, spiritual fuel to drain us. Oh, yes, yes, we're like fuel or slaves. Bastards. Of course, willing slaves, so it's like who's really the slave, yes. 
because you can't actually make somebody. You have to be a slave in your mind before you can be a slave in your brain. And if you are a slave, you are choosing to be a slave. So go love. Love, love. Love is a four-letter word in English. And, of course, my brother suggested uh, Christopher Christ over. <laughs> Lovely. Um, he suggested that the relevance of the figure eight is me is would not be um, relevant to other languages and alphabets. It really just goes into the development of language of in and of itself. What is a language? A language is a way of communicating ideas, wants, needs, etc., etc. Very basic ideas like um, I'm hungry. Go kill that wildebeest for me to eat. Yes. Or I want food sustenance, basically. Uh, the way a child learns these things. Um, and the evolution of language was initially, I think, to describe ideas. It's always been about communicating ideas. But also, it, it evolved to communicate sounds. So we have a symbol that corresponds to a sound. And in the English alphabet, we have the sound ah, 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 ah. So that has this symbol, or a triangle type thing. And this is Arabic in uh, origin, apparently, and they developed the, the counting system as well. So, yes, think about it like this. Uh, Hishish comes from Arabia. They uh, invented numbers and shit like that. Maybe um, if you did more hashish and made that like a thing, people could like relax and sit around and figure out numbers. <laughs> Lovely. Of course, the Arabs um, in their there's this little, little little idea that uh, Muhammad got when he was in a cave. Really, really, you're in a cave, and um, were there any mushrooms in this cave, Muhammad? Did you bring any hashish in this cave with you? Think about it. Anyway, he goes up there, then he comes back and he's like, "Holy shit, we've been f wow." Yeah, excuse me, I don't want to frustrate any of the youngins. Um, he said. Wow, look at all this stuff going on down here. It's like really, it's really not good. And uh, there's actually only one God. Which of course corresponds to the idea of Yahweh, which is the singular form of God. And I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. <laughs> it's more like Yahweh. 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 That's odd. You're speaking in tongues. Are you on drugs, my friend? Anyway, <clears throat> um, schizophrenic tendencies, probably take a break to collect our thoughts, ending on 8 to 